Now, as I said earlier, uh, I designed this thing to uh, not necessarily be the best thing to use to separate gold. There's other products out there that, that do the same job that this does. But I was looking to be to build the least expensive one I could, and uh, and be adequate and do the job. So uh, I'll uh, turn this thing on and uh, we'll throw some uh, throw some more uh, gold on there and let you take a look at it and see what you zoom in on it so you can see it. All right, hang on. Here we go. This is why this table works. As you can see, the light stuff is moving down the table. The heavy stuff is staying behind. The uh, the black sand and gold is staying back up the top, while the rest of it floats down to the bottom. There's one piece of gold right there that you can see. Now the construction of this table is built such that recirculates out of this five gallon bucket, goes back through this line, back up to the top up here, where the concentrates fall out, into that tub, and you can see I've run it, there's, been some, there's some concentrates in it, but up to the top, to the distribution. I use this valve right here to help control the, the flow of what's coming down besides the angle of the uh, right now I'm running about uh, three quarters of an inch to five eighths I use a level on the top to, to level it out horizontally and then there's a hose that comes around to this side and connects back to the uh, to the uh, uh, pump in the five gallon bucket so that's how the system is put together the other thing that's, uh, that you might find of interest on this particular one, those are 1x4s underneath there. And the reason that I did 1x4s was so that I could build a, uh, so I could build a, uh, a box in there to store all the parts. Well, I can't get it open right now, but, but I'll show you later. It's, it's back in underneath here, and there's, a, there's an open area in there to store all the parts and everything.